Good evening. This is Strange Love, and I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Good evening, and welcome to Strange Love Live. I'm your host, Cami Chaos, and as always, I'm joined by Dr. Normal. Hello, everybody. This evening, we have a show that I've been really looking forward to for months since before uh, this project was even out in the open. I've been looking really forward to talking to Michelle Anderson and to Megan Kate about Michelle's story, The Miracle in July. Thanks for having us here, Cammie. Thank you. Really Thanks excited. for coming on. Yeah. Now, it's the tech edition, so we can't get into all the juicy, seedy, <laughs> gory, hot details of the story necessarily. But what we do want to talk about is the technology angle behind the story. Because what you're doing is taking an amazing, really raw, emotionally raw, not um, verbally raw piece of work with an amazing story behind it and putting it out in kind of a new way with some interesting twists. So why don't you tell us uh, what you're doing to release The Miracle in July, the first act of it, on your site? Um, well, uh, as far as the tech goes, it's, um, it's a story, it's a memoir that I'm writing um, online and I'm using a content management system that uh, many people have heard of. It's called WordPress. <laughs> and, um, heard of this WordPress. Have you heard yeah. of WordPress? Yeah. <laughs> um, a lot of people use WordPress. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a great piece of software. It's stable, it's um, open source, and people do a lot of fantastic things with it. Um, but it's not just for blogs, it's about uh, it's a content management system. So I figured that um, I would, uh, I wanted to do something different with this story, and I wanted to um, get it out as quickly as possible to as many eyeballs as possible. And I knew that um, there were a lot of eyeballs on the internet and that I had learned some things over the last few years about promoting um, projects, products, people online, mm -hmm. and doing all of that promoting for free, um, using free applications and social networks and things like that. And I thought that um, if I used all of the things that I had learned about social networks and social web and blogging and WordPress and promoting an idea um, mm -hmm. the right way, not the spammy way, that I could get my idea out to people who might be interested in in um, producing it as a, a hardback book, because mm -hmm. that's the, the end result of um, producing the story online in little segments is to kind of build a community around the story and get enough people interested in seeing it into a book to convince um, a publishing company to um, take it on. So we are, you just last week, or this week rather, on Monday released the ninth chapter in Act One. Mm -hmm. I call them segments. Segment, and mm -hmm. there's one more segment? Yes, it's the last one and it does feature the um, title song, The Miracle in July. Mm-hmm. So, title song, mm -hmm. and that's part of the interactive. You're not yes. just putting your words up there. You're not just managing content and uh, once a week releasing a segment of the story. You're incorporating music. You're incorporating images. You're incorporating uh, videos. You're incorporating mapping. Um, as what made you want to do that, and how is it? How's what's kind of how's it working? Well, I. As a multimedia producer, um, I've always been interested in using many medias. Um, <laughs> Multiple <once>. medias. <laughs> Multiples. <laughs> and um, I, I got to say, it, I, it was just, um, I, I was at the point where I was going to do this, produce it somehow. I had this idea um, at the right time as I found... Um, I found, you know, the Portland blogging community, so I learned um, about WordPress, and then I learned about um, Apture, which is a plugin that you use um, on on the web in a blog post or in on a website that makes things interactive, um, and that product had just come um, available. It's just been released, and I signed up when it was still beta, mm -hmm. when I was kind of experimenting with how how I could get what was in my head out onto um, um, onto the the web. Mm -hmm. um, someone you know with no technical expertise. I have never made a plug-in. Um, I 
I'm fairly um, learned on how to use um, all of the same things that everybody else uses, and which I think is a big part of what makes social um, media so um, prevalent. It's because it is so easy to use and anybody can use it. Mm -hmm. um, so um, it just seems like it was the time for me to do this because right when I was kind of experimenting with the WordPress blog, in fact, I set up the Miracle in July's blog at the first um, and blognessness for Beer and Blog, which um, is some uh, a community that's really helped me um, get um, my skill levels up. And it's uh, Beer and Blog is also a place where I, I write blog posts and... and help other people learn how to use um, the technology. Um, I would say that it just all happened. The technology was ripe, and it, the story was ripe, and it was time for me to um, pull this off. But I will say that when I started it, um, when I decided to launch it, it was a, a month before I did. On It was a month before July 6th, which is when I launched it. Mm -hmm. And um, I really didn't know exactly what it was going to look like yet. I just knew that July 6th was coming up, and that's, a, that's, a, that's my birthday, and it was, a, it was an important um, day in the story. Um, the month of July is an important month. And that I've been sitting on kind of tinkering around with this idea for more than a year, and I really just needed to, to do it. Yeah. So I just, I just did it. Um, and at first, I thought I was going to put up a web, uh, a page, and had a like a, a newsletter thing, like uh, put in your email in this box and push send, and we'll let you know when something happens. But. Mm -hmm. You know, I had four of the segments already kind of written out, and and I just decided the, the night before to do it. So I I did it, just and go since then it. every stinking week, I come up with um, another installment of the Miracle in July. I love the Sunday night tweets. There's always some <laughs> cryptic Sunday night tweet about trying to get things finished, about trying to get things ready, oh, man, or about how things are ready. Like, and yeah, yeah. I I've, I've grown to to love in the past 9 or so weeks the Sunday night tweets. Um so before we get into there's some other details about other ways that this is going to be published, but before we get into that, where does Megan Kate come in? <laughs> well, she comes in right here. <laughs> Megan Kate is like assistant slash intern extraordinaire. Well, no in the Portland intern. Creative She's Tech. She's full on one hundred percent personal assistant. Oh my goodness! Yes, I gave her a promotion the same day that I got. I signed a contract where I had a meeting with um, the agents, agency, literary agency that's, that's signed to me to help me um, produce or find a publisher for the Miracle in July. But. Um, I think I ran into Melissa Lyon at the farmer's market, and I was two weeks into The Miracle in July. And I was trying to write it and promote it, and I was getting really sick and mm -hmm. tired. Um, sick, comma, and tired. <laughs> and um, I was at the farmer's market because we had no food in the house, um, and I needed to get out because I I was really just, just killing myself. And... I was complaining to Melissa, and she goes, well, why don't you just borrow Megan Kate? <laughs> because borrow she's an amazing commodity. Right. Oh, <laughs> Loan her out. And I was like, no, no, no. I don't need an intern. You know, she wouldn't go for it. And, you know, and she's really cute and everything. <laughs> and she's so smart. And, you know, my story is just, oh, I don't know. Um, so I think it took me another week for me to go and send Megan a DM on Twitter and, and ask her if she'd be interested in, in helping me out. And I think she said, oh my God, yes, yes, please, <laughs> or something to that effect. There was yeah. a lot of caps. It was caps lock and a lot of exclamation points. Yeah. I, was, I was yelling as I typed, yes. Yeah. It was very exciting. So, yeah, so now I just kind of take care of any non-writing related things that Michelle needs done so she can really focus on putting all the segments up and she's amazing you just get all the other stuff done 
so that releases. she can go and be brilliant. Yeah, exactly. Well, and I told her when we first met with Baker's Mark Literary Agency, we left the meeting. And when I first met with them, with her, and I was like, I, you know, I'm really excited about this. Like, hopefully, you know, they decide to sign you. And she was like, yeah. And I said, I just had this image flash into my head of, like, us at Oprah <laughs> or something. And, like, me in the back <laughs> with my Blackberry, like, scheduling you for things. And Aww. so, and so like, she asked me to be her assistant. She needs to tap. <laughs> So that's kind of how it's evolved. Yeah. Yeah, she, it was, and also in that same um, time, mm -hmm. it, she was like, when are you going to get excited, you know? And I was like, I don't, you know, I, you know, I kind of keep it, keep you it don't all. Don't you don't want to count the chickens is, before you know, they hatch. Mm -hmm. Keeping it real, and it, so what? And she's like, okay, I'm going to be excited for you. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. So, no. yeah. Somebody, she tries to stay level-headed all the time, and. It's silly. It it's is. Really silly. Although, you know, you need to keep yourself grounded. I understand, but still. All right, so once Act 1 is complete, there's the prologue, and then there's the Act 1, which will be complete on Monday, and then what happens? Then I take a break, baby. Then you take a break. <laughs> you've already, you've got some stuff in the works, though. Yes. So what's going to happen with Act 1? Is it still going to be available on the website? Yes. Is it going to be available in any other form? Yes. Would you care to elaborate? <laughs> no, I'm trying to get you to tell us. Oh. <laughs> Just because um, I have the answers doesn't mean you shouldn't tell us. Hey, that wasn't in your rules. I didn't see okay, that. Okay, Megan Kate can tell us. Okay. Um, hey, Megan Kate. We should be putting um, things out um, in ebook form, mm -hmm. hopefully, which that information will be up on the site. And Michelle says she's going on a break, but really she'll be working on turning Act One into a manuscript, mm -hmm. um, working with our literary agents and. Um, then, you know, that's going to be one more piece to go towards having it as a full book. And also during that hiatus, we'll be taking that manuscript piece and I'll be using it to try to, you know, promote us for some some art um, grants and things like that. So we'll be really, really busy during that hiatus. Mm -hmm. There will be, as far as I'm concerned, extensive edits of the, <laughs> the manuscript. I've gotten a lot of feedback from mm -hmm. people and um, a lot of it is really good feedback um, I would say all of it is very really, really good feedback and so far I haven't had a situation where I, I was really pissed off by what anybody <laughs> said because you know they all have um, an opinion and yeah. um, th a point you yeah. know and because this is I, I'm, I'm, I'm literally still like a thousand words away in, of, of deleting and adding for the next segment. So I'm still like writing the next segment that you'll see on on Monday morning. And so I need to go back and make sure that all the things that I promised or alluded to in the story that what I would talk about and cover and, and elaborate on actually I get to because I'm sure that there's stuff I haven't gone back to read any of the things that I've posted. Mm -hmm. If when I start one, I I, I might skim the one that I just posted but once I post it I usually take a day of and sleep mm -hmm. and then um, I, I read some of it skim the one, the one before that and just start start in because you know I know I know how the story goes um, but I have to choose what to put in and yeah. what um, what is has more um, literary, you know, like value as far as you know, cliffhangers and and um, you know, what's going to happen next kind of stuff. The, the the things that make people engage and so reel them in. I'm going to need to go and um, make sure I'm meeting all of the readers' needs, I guess, as far as the story, making it complete for them, and go back and make sure Act One is going to be leading into a good act two and into a good act three. Mm -hmm. And the feedback from the readers is, I think, part of what makes it so amazing that we're using the web and we're using all the applications we are because the readers can send us comments or leave notes and read it as it's happening and be a part of the evolution of the story. And I, in one of the first press releases I ever wrote for it, I started calling it a guerrilla publishing effort. And I really think that's what it is. Like, we've really tried to make the community and the readers a part of the story and to feel like, you know, when they go and buy the book, once it gets published, they can see all the changes, you know, because we're going to keep everything up online so they can see the changes and feel like they've been a part of the process mm -hmm. and a part of Michelle's story. And I think that's what makes it so cool that we're using all of those pieces. It's crowdsourced. Yeah. Yeah. So bits of it 
are not completely autobiographical. Exactly. How much of it? Like, give me a percentage. You don't have to tell me which bits. Just give me a percentage. Okay. Okay. Well, let me give me a second. Let me think about this. <laughs> Calculate. Okay. I could sing Violent Femmes for you. I have a perfect <laughs> song for it, but well, I won't. Well, see, it's this is a this is a hard this is a hard percentage to come up with you because. Um, the beginning and, and end of each segment kind of like grounds you in the future, which is the fictional, you know, part mm-hmm. of it. Correct. Um, so if, if we're talking about word content, then that's a different percentage than we are talking about. Let's talk about the heart behind it, the story. Um, the story. Not the fate of the character. Not the okay. not the absolute fate of the character. So, like, obviously, I'm not in Denmark writing this. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we can we can assume that all of that is fictional. Mm-hmm. So there are no like. Uh, there's no poop covered tree in the front yard of the little house in I Denmark. I like the poop covered tree. I, know, I, I really like the I poop can, covered I, those, tree. Those starlings piss me off and they're not even real. <laughs> <laughs> they're always bitching to me. Um, so if we discount the obvious, um, mm-hmm. I would say that it's about 80%. 80%? Yeah. This is where I, I just recalled that during the after hours, we're going to have Megan Kate read. Um, from part of the first nine segments. Uh, but we weren't able to come up with what part she should read. Partly could be the whole thing is awesome and partly because <laughs> Michelle does not want to make a decision. So if you're in the chat room and you have been following along with the Miracle in July and there's a part that you really particularly enjoyed or would just really like to hear Megan Kate read, <laughs> why don't you go ahead and let us know and we'll try to uh, pick a part from, from your request and have Megan Kate read that during After Hours, not during the Tech Edition. No. Not during the Tech Edition. <laughs> so what future plans do you have? There have been some press releases, some stuff is going on. Mm-hmm. You guys have been doing a great job. What can you tell us that's coming up? Well, we have a couple of exciting things coming up. Can um, you tell us? First of all, we're having a little party mm-hmm. um, when we relaunch for Act Two, mm-hmm. and we have some special things planned. Um, I'll leave it as at that as far as what special things are, but um, it'll it'll be Portland special. Mm-hmm. I think that's a good description. Yeah. Portland special, say. and it'll Portland be on special. October seventeenth. October seventeenth. So mark 17th. your calendars. Mm-hmm. And we've been sending out all of our press releases. We're always tweeting the press releases um, when we give information and putting it up on our Facebook mm-hmm. and our friends, friend feed. Mm-hmm. And that following Monday will be the first segment of Act 2. So it's a little over a month break. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Break that a, I'm going to be taking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, the, really but break. the party will be awesome. We'll so be October excited. 17th. October 17th. Awesome party mm-hmm. full of secrets and mystery mm-hmm. yes <laughs> but it's it's portland awesome it's portland awesome. there's going to be a lot of portland um people involved in some new projects some new offshoots of the miracle in july so it'll be really exciting to kind of expand that and show what we've been working on and what michelle has gotten um in the time frame of act one so it's very exciting so since you guys started this, have you seen anything else like it? No. 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 And I'm looking. I would love to get some ideas of how to promote this on my own. I, I, part of my research before I launched this and what took me so long to just do it is because I was hoping that somebody else had done this already mm-hmm. and that I could just, uh, I could just, <laughs> I could just, <laughs> I could look, just they look and see what had worked for them and get some ideas mm-hmm. of, of, you know, best case scenarios to, I call it reverse engineering the process where mm-hmm. I'm, you know, publishing it um, online and publicly asking for feedback and then find, you know, some sort of publishing at the end of it, whether I have to do it myself or if somebody else wanted to publish it for me. Um, do we want to? Do you want to announce the? the yes, second? you can. You do it. Okay. Somebody um, tell me something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, um, we are going to be having a Miracle in July locket line. Mm-hmm. Yes. With locket to With you. Locket to you. Um, which I think ladies are wearing, I should not be wearing surprised. matching lockets. Yeah, Meg and Kate and I have matching, matching locket to your lockets. And I'm super, super, super excited um, for many reasons. Besides the fact that this is a Portland company. Mm-hmm. Um, Portland, Portland, Portland. Yay, Portland. And um, I think that um, people are going to really enjoy it. 
the we get a lot of feedback about the starlings logo for miracle in july that's one thing that we hear back about a lot so we went to scott from locket to you and talked to him about that so we're gonna start Do you know the date for the line or should i ask him you may want to ask him we're not sure do you have the date for the release? I've got, say Scott's uh, in the studio. I've got a few uh, mock-ups ready that probably be showing you midweek. Nothing like a little bit of pressure. We, we, well, we'd like well, to do, you know... He like said that there's a few the mock-ups available rush. midweek. Yeah, and if we could, you know, have the big release, you know, at our little October 17th party, who knows? Mm. Oh, yeah, who knows? Yeah. Mm. And then we'll have the whole thing there. No, he People says can see he, everything. He says definitely by yeah. October seventeenth there will be lockets. So, yeah, that's right. so that's very and there'll exciting. be special lockets. They, not only will they have the Starling um, logo, or mm-hmm. but they'll look a little different. They'll look. They'll be. Uh, they'll be different. Some additions. They'll and be. They'll be stepped up a little. They'll be, yes. they'll be stepped we're different ex- sideways. We're you can't go much higher up than this. It's just going to be sideways. Yeah, step. yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll, it'll have different things. Got a few locket junkies around here. Yeah, I'm yeah. just saying. So it's very exciting. I'm really bummed I couldn't get my. I have a locket too, but mm-hmm. it didn't work with the outfit, so I would be wearing it today. Yeah, I, I wore the outfits so that it would work with the locket. So <laughs> I was like, what I had can to I work. Wear? I, I have the shoes, and then I worked up. I understand. You know, I, I understand. <laughs> I have built out entire outfits. <laughs> Around shoes before. These are hot shoes. They are. They make me six shoes. four, six three. It's not you're already decent. you're already like six foot, <laughs> right? Six one, six foot. How tall are you in real life without the big? Huge? It depends on how my back feels. Okay, <laughs> that's fair enough. No more than six foot. No more than six foot. Um, barefoot. Okay. But shorter, definitely. If I don't, if I'm icky. Yeah, I always see in heels. I had to kind of bend. Down I wasn't you. wearing my yeah when uh, when Michelle arrived I was not yet wearing my shoes and she's wearing uh, it was like a minimum squat. three inch Cammy, it was like and she sh- had to bend over I got up on my tippy squat. toes she had yeah. A squat. yeah it was sad Doctor Normal is giving me the hugging is not tech hugging is not technology there's no technology in hugging <laughs> sure there is oh Doctor Normal so um, what's the plugin you use again it's I use several no the the Aperture. 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 Um, Aperture. You guys were featured yes. on their site. Yes. That's as technology. The, How's that for you, week. Dr. Normal? The, the site of the week for Aperture. Did you guys know that was going to happen in advance, or did they just Yes. Kind of, yes. Yeah? Well, what's... Uh, What's interesting about that? Thank you for bringing that up, Candy Chaos. Oh, you're very welcome, Ms. <laughs> Anderson. What's interesting about that is that we, Megan and I, were scheming. And I was saying that. <laughs> plotting? Plotting, plotting, and plotting and scheming. Plotting and scheming. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, Yes, it's great. And we were making lists of people who might be interested in knowing about the Miracle in July for some reason or another. Mm -hmm. Maybe they would want to know about it. And I wanted to contact them. I wanted to pitch them and ask them if they would feature (laughs) the Miracle in July. And a couple of days before I was going to be doing that, they DM'd me on Twitter and asked if they could feature (laughs) the site on... Well, I don't know. (laughs) Okay, sure. (laughs) So, did they tell you why? Because it was badass. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I was just as it surprised. It is badass. No, I, I was not only surprised that they wanted to do it, that they approached me, but they said that um, I'm a heavy, heavy user of the plugin. Like, mm-hmm. you know, like every segment has multiple uses of an interactive plug, uh, interactive panels for Aperture, mm-hmm. and I, I use it more than a lot of people use it, and they wanted to, so they checked me out. I can, you know, I look at my stats, and I could see somebody checking me out down in the Bay Area yeah. a lot, so um, when they contacted me, I was uh, surprised, and they said that um, they thought it was really great. Um, really great is what they said in the DM, but when mm-hmm. I saw the feature that they wanted to use, I mean, it was really, I mean, they said some really, really nice things. Mm-hmm. Some really nice things. that They, they said it was, it was the next generation of, you know, like, look look at this writer, she's going places, and this is awesome writing. And You and I sat on, on my couch upstairs and talked one night, and next generation is exactly what you wanted this story. Mm-hmm to be the production of it to be and so to hear that i know huh. it was you know it was validation it was yeah. it was it was another example of yes i'm supposed to be doing this right now yes this is this plug-in is, is amazing and it does what it's supposed to 
do for me. I also have to say that I do use a Yahoo plugin mm -hmm. on my site, and I don't know if it's really obvious that it's there on the site, but on the on the page of every segment, there's a little gray tab on the left side with a white arrow, and if you click on it, all of the music that's embedded in, on a page is in a playlist, and you can mm -hmm. push play and listen to all of the songs um, in a row. Consecutively. Yeah, and in fact, on the music page, the library, the music page in the mm -hmm. library. It's the same thing. And right now, I think we have, I have 54 songs right now that if you played the playlist on that page, you can have 54 songs playing. So before we wrap up, that was the last thing I wanted to ask you about was the music. Because you've got music for every segment. You've got something going on all the time. How did you choose the music? And you also have links. People can go and purchase them. So it gives back to the artists themselves. Uh, tell us about that process because you seem to have done a great job at making sure that you're also giving back to the community that you're drawing from. That's a long question. <laughs> it could have a short answer. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Thank you. Um, uh, I choose the music. Um, music for me is always about the lyrics mm -hmm. and it's always about the tune and, and the melody and it's two separate things um, and for me it's always the music first that hooks me and then I listen to the lyrics mm -hmm. and I have um, I have been my there's something about the way that I choose music that is it works for me and it's, it, it's a faithful thing is that I listen to music and I can tell within 30 seconds or less whether or not this is going to be anything that I would use on the Miracle in July mm -hmm. and then I move on and I'm trying to um, concentrate on indie, Scandinavian, mm -hmm. Portland bands but sometimes you know a well-known science um, band music is is appropriate um, but what I do is I find a bunch of songs I have a collection of songs on an mp3 player that I listen to um, while I'm thinking about writing mm -hmm. while well, I'm thinking about what I'm going to be saying in this next segment that it has to be in this segment that goes into the next segment that goes into the next segment mm -hmm. um, and it's a combination of the music and the lyrics that um, that gets it picked for the mp3 player for me to listen to and then after that there's two different kinds of songs that i will choose in there there's a title song that i might choose mm -hmm. and then there's the there's songs that are written into the story mm -hmm. and um as a segue i would like to point out that this these songs that i'm using um i haven't written all of the bands and asked them if i could link to them oh, okay but i am um, providing many, 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 many opportunities for people to buy the music in the Aperture plugin. Um, I have an Amazon, I have a music page now mm -hmm. um, where you can go and buy the music and I have links to the bands at any time that I can. Mm -hmm. I try to promote the bands as much as possible. And also that if anybody, any of these bands don't want their, their music on my site, I can remove the link and it won't because because the music is supporting and not carrying the words, mm -hmm. if I remove the link, it's not going to hurt the story at all. Yeah. Um, so anyway, back to the um, the title song. Always is a song that the lyrics nail the segment, mm -hmm. and the title of the song doesn't really work as far as putting it into a sentence. Mm -hmm. And then I have five to seven songs where the lyrics kind of go with maybe a, sec a section of you know, the general idea yeah. of what we're going for, the feeling of but it. it has a title that I can weave into a sentence. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's fun for me. It's like having um, a title to figure out how I can fit that into a sentence to make it sound a natural yeah mm -hmm. all right well i think that we are running out of time for the tech edition but we're going to be back we're going to be back talk more about the miracle in july have meg and kate do a reading and have girly foofy drinks and a lovely time uh next week we're going to be having a special encore episode so that dr normal and i can get ready for our presentation at work camp yay see you all in a little bit have a good night <laughs>